सो हेलो हाई एंड वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू नर द क्लास ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन इन टूडे सेशन गाइज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट पी आई बी न्यूज फ्रॉम इलेवन टू ट्वेल्थ ऑफ मार्च टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड आई होप यूर प्रिपरेशन फॉर दी अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन आर गोइंग वेल प्लीज डोंट लूज आउट द टाइम जस्ट कीप ऑन प्रिपेयरिंग एंड कीप ऑन प्रिपेयरिंग दी हार्ट ऑल राइट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द क्लास विदाउट एनी डिले एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इसमें से आई बिलीव कि क्वेश्चन आपके एग्जाम में आना ही चाहिए सो दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एमएसएमई हेडेड बाय नारायण राणे हैज लॉन्च्ड एमएसएमई कॉम्पिटिटिव लीन स्कीम टू क्रिएट अवेयरनेस अमंग्स एमएसएमई अबाउट लीन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रैक्टिसेस सो व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर इनकरेक्ट अबाउट द एमएसएमई कॉम्पिटिटिव लीन स्कीम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लीन रिमेंबर लीन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रैक्टिसेस इज इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ प्रैक्टिस व्हिच वी फॉलो इट इज अ थ्योरी इन मैनेजमेंट right it is a management practice where a company increases enhances its efficiency by reducing or eliminating the waste theek hai waste ko eliminate karke ya reduce karke when a company enhances its efficiency that is known as what lean management practice right so to increase awareness among msme about this lean manufacturing practices msme competitive lean scheme has been launched by ministry of msme all right so let's talk about it more then we will come back to the question so it is the ministry of msme which has launched it of course because when we are talking about msme competitive lean scheme so the ministry of course is the ministry of msme the objective of this scheme objective abhi tak to aapko clear ho hi gaya hoga but let's read out the objective the objective with this scheme the government intends to enhance productivity efficiency and competitiveness of msmes by reducing wastage and by reducing wastage where in processes in inventory management in space management in energy consumption etc right and also to enhance the domestic and global competitiveness of msmes right through the application of this lean management practice or lean manufacturing practice theek hai launch agar agar koi bolega to of course it will be 2023 and the scheme will be implemented in three levels right the awareness amongst msme will be created in at three levels level 1 will be of basic where self learning self learning of msmes the the level 1 the basic level will focus on self learning through e modules and the duration will be two months right level 2 which is intermediate level at this level lean consultant lean consultant will be hired will be appointed by the government and they will use various techniques to transfer the lean management practices to the msmes and the level 3 is the advanced level where the consultant will implement advanced tools for uh, you know for msmes taki unko lean practices ke bare mein samjhaya ja sake to make them aware about the lean practices all right so these are the three levels and talking about it most of the components there are various components under the scheme number 1 industry awareness programs workshops workshops will be conducted across the country to create awareness about this practice training programs will be conducted hand holding will be there jo government hai wo msmes ko pura support karegi so that they can learn this practice and reduce their wastage and hence enhance their efficiency all right then <clears throat> benefits and incentives will also be provided by ministry of msme jiski baat abhi hum aage karenge pr campaign hoga advertising in brand promotion will be there and also a digital platform a single window <coughs> digital platform will be there which will implement this particular scheme theek hai talking more about it so coverage and eligibility ki baat kare so which all msmes are eligible kon kon se msmes iske andar eligible honge so remember all msmes which are registered with udyam registration portal yes all the msmes which are registered with उद्योग रजिस्ट्रेशन पोर्टल ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एम एस एम ईज आर एलिजिबल टू पार्टिसिपेट इन द स्कीम एंड आर ऑल्सो एलिजिबल टू अवेल द बेनिफिट ऑफ द स्कीम एंड नॉट ओनली दिस इट इज ऑल्सो ओपन टू कॉमन फेसिलिटी सेंटर अंडर स्पूर्ति स्कीम ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एम एस एम ई एंड ऑल्सो एम एस सी क्लस्टर डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम स्कीम राइट दीज आर दू स्कीम ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एम एस एम ई स्पूर्ति स्कीम एंड एम एस एम ई क्लस्टर डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम स्कीम so all the common facility center which are registered under these two schemes are also eligible to get the benefits of this particular scheme right now talking about financial assistance 
So 90% subsidy, 90% subsidy will be provided by the government on implementation cost for handholding and consultation fees for the MSMEs. So the lean consultant will be higher to, you know, to teach the MSMEs about the lean program, the lean practice. And of course, there will be consultancy fees. So in that consultancy fees, 90% of the subsidy will be provided by the government of India through Ministry of MSME. Also, there will be an additional contribution of 5% for those MSMEs which are part of Supurti clusters, which are owned by either women, SC or ST, or are located in the northeastern region of the country. Okay? This additional 5% contribution will be uh, given to those MSMEs which are registered through industry association or original equipment manufacturer OEMs. Now, what is this OEM? So, guys, OEMs are the company which makes which make products for another company and that another company sell those products in their own brand. For example, like ye agar screen ki agar baat karu, so let's say ki isko company X ne banaya for company Y and this company Y is selling this screen under its own brand name. Theek hai? So these are OEMs. So all the MSMEs registered through industry association or OEM will get additional 5%. Right? And also 5,000 euros 5,000 euros per MSME will be given to OEM or the industry association after completing all stages of lean intervention. 5,000 euro per MSME diya jayega to the OEMs or the industry association after completion all these training programs under uh, this as particular scheme. Alright, so I think yeah, that is all about this scheme and very very important you can expect a question from us. So let's identify the incorrect statement now. It has been launched under Ministry of MSME's MSME Champion Scheme. That is absolutely correct. Right? It has been launched under MSME Champions Scheme. It is being implemented at three levels. Basic, Intermediate and Advanced. All MSMEs registered on Ministry of MSMEs Udyam Registration Portal are eligible. Yes, we have discussed it. And under it, government will provide 90% subsidy on implementation cost for hat holding and consultancy fees for the MSMEs. Yes, ye bhi humne padha hai abhi just. So I think all the statements are correct. But remember, we need to identify the incorrect statement. Always focus on this word. Whether you have to identify the correct statement or the incorrect statement. Right? So the correct answer will be option E. None of the above. Alright? And now let's move ahead to question number 2. Question number 2 is about UL PIN. Which of the following statements is our correct? about unique land parcel identification number which is also known as who Aadhaar right it is also known as what who Aadhaar UL PIN so let's talk about it why it is in news then we will come back to the question remember the department of land resources which works under the ministry of rural development headed by Giriraj Singh Giriraj Singh is the minister of rural development and Panchayati Raj also so this department of land resources will be organizing the fourth edition of Bhumi Sambar, right? Bhumi Sambar ka fourth edition will be organized by Department of Land Resources in New Delhi, right? And this Bhumi Sambar is being organized by this department across the country for implementation of UL PIN. Taki zada se zada log UL PIN ko apnaye, zada se zada land parcels will come under UL PIN, all right? The theme of this Samvad will be digitizing and geo-referencing India with Bhu Aadhaar. Right? Theme is important. Theme is important especially for the NABAD examination. Now talking about this conference more. So it is being organized under Bhumi Samvad series of dialogues and deliberations of land administration and governance. Right? These are the sessions that will be conducted in this Bhumi Samvad. You don't have to remember the, the, the sessions word by word. This is just for the understanding that what actually they will do in this sambar all right talking about ul pin so remember it is a unique 14 digit alpha numeric number generated for each land parcel land parcel means land ka tukda, right so for each land parcel we will have a unique 14 digit alpha numeric number like for every individual there is a unique aadhar card number similarly for every land parcel there will be a 14 digit alpha numeric number and for this government is implementing various schemes like a land record modernization program, Swamitva program, is tarikhe ke chal rahe hai. 
It is being implemented as part of Digital India Land Records Modernization Program by Ministry of Rural Development. And what it contains, now what, what details, is can there kya details hongi? So it contains ownership details of the land parcel, its size, its longitude and latitude details. So everything uh, about that land parcel will be included in this UL pin, which is a 14 digit alpha numeric number and it will be unique for every land parcel. All right. So that is all about this news and let's identify incorrect statement about UL pin. So it is a 20 digit, digit alpha numeric number generated for each land parcel. Is that so? No. The number of digit is 14. It is being implemented as part of Digital India Land Records Modernization Program by Ministry of Panchayati Raj. Yes, it is being implemented as a part of Digital India Land Records Modernization Program, but not by the Ministry of Panchayati Raj, but by Ministry of Rural Development. So this is also incorrect. It contains ownership details of the land parcel, its size and longitude and latitude details, which is absolutely correct. And it serves as a single authoritative source of truth of information uh, on any parcel of land or property. So yeah, we will put say baat hogi. And we have to identify the incorrect statement, which means, which means option D. One and two only will be the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number three. Where will the Ministry of Food Processing Industry organize the second edition of World Food India 2023 in November 2023? So World Food India, it will be the second edition. The first edition took place in the year 2017. And now this is the second edition. It will be organized by Ministry of Food Processing Industry in New Delhi. In New Delhi in the month of November 2023, right? And abhi it is in news because the curtain raiser event took place. So abhi ke liye abhi hume itna pata hai that it will take place in the month of November in uh, New Delhi, right? And along with it, its website, publicity brochure and promotional video was also launched. The organizing ministry, I already told you, Ministry of FPI, Food Processing Industry. And these are the five, these are the five elements of World Food India 2023. Number one, Sri Anna. Sri Anna is what? Millets. Innovation and sustainability, green food. White Revolution 2.0, right? Making India an export hub and focus on technology and digitization. So this World Food India will be focused on these five areas. And yes, you should remember these five areas. This is important because they go millets to hoga yoga. We are talking about green food these days. So, ye bhi hai hi. white revolution 2.0 ki bhi baat chal rahi hai. Bas do aap ko yaad rakhne hai. Thik hai? So, now let's come back to the question. So, where it will take place? It will take place in New Delhi. Option C is the correct answer. Let's talk about question number four. Which of the following organization or organizations? Recently organized second ISHTA 2023 and what is ISHTA? International Symposium on Health Technology Assessment in collaboration with Ministry of Health and Family Welfare headed by Mansukh Mandavia and it was organized in New Delhi. Remember, it was the second International Symposium on Health Technology Assessment and it took place in New Delhi and it was organized by Department of Health Research of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in collaboration with WHO, World Health Organization and Center for Global Development, right? WHO and Center for Global Development are the two other organizations with which Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has organized this event, right? And the theme was this, theme was Lambi Chodi hai, so you don't have to remember it, theek hai? Aisi Lambi Chodi themes, exam mein generally nahi puchi jati. <coughs> they generally don't ask such themes in the examinations, right? <coughs> so that is all. Isse jada padne ki zarurat nahi hai. Not required. So which are these two organizations? These are WHO and Center for Global Development. Option D, A and B is the correct answer. Question number five pe aajate. Which portal? Very very important question again. Which portal has been launched recently by Ministry of Power, headed by R K Singh? to ensure greater availability of power during the peak demand season. And agar isme sa koji question aya, to wo yehi hoga. Either name of the portal or the objective or the ministry which has launched it. So all the three information are already here in this question. Which portal? 
पुष्प पोर्टल विच मिनिस्ट्री मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर वाइड वॉज लॉन्च टू एंश्योर ग्रेटर अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ पावर ड्यूरिंग द पीक डिमांड सीजन राइट दीज आर द्री क्वेश्चन दैट आर एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूज इसके अलावा आई डोंट थिंक कोई क्वेश्चन इसमें से आना चाहिए सो इट इज पुष्प पोर्टल विच स्टैंड फॉर हाई प्राइस डे अहेड मार्केट हाई प्राइस डे अहेड मार्केट एंड सरप्लस पावर पोर्टल एंड आई डोंट नो हाउ इट इज पुष बट ठीक है सरकार कह रही है तो हम भी मान लेते हैं हाई प्राइस डे अहेड मार्केट एंड सरप्लस पावर पोर्टल हाउ इट इज कमिंग एज पुष आई डोंट नो बट ठीक है सो दिस इज दॉर्म राइट यू शुड रिमेम्बर दॉर्म एज वेल The objective is to ensure greater availability of power during the high demand season, right? And it will enable power distribution companies, the DISCOMs, to indicate their surplus power in block times, days, and months. अगर उनके पास कोई surplus power होगी, let's say one DISCOM has surplus power, then that power will be transferred to that DISCOM which will have power, मतलब जितनी required है उससे कम, right? It will also enable those discoms who need power to requisition the surplus power notified on it like let's say this is one discom x this is one discom y it has surplus power so it will notify this surplus power on push portal right once it is notified it will this y which has deficit power right it will it will request this push portal to supply this power to this y फिर वो जो एप्लीकेशन है वो एक्स के पास जाएगी एंड एक्स विल सप्लाई दिस पावर टू दिस वाई राइट दिस इज हाउ दिस इंटायर पोर्टल विल वर्क एंड दे फॉर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी पुष्प पोर्टल क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स विद विच कंट्री डज इंडिया साइन क्रिटिकल मिनरल्स इन्वेस्टमेंट पार्टनरशिप टू डेवलप सप्लाई चेन और क्रिटिकल मिनरल्स इंक्लूडिंग लिथियम एंड कुबोल्ट so the country in question guys is australia with australia we have signed this critical minerals investment partnership and why this partnership has been signed so it has been signed to develop supply chains of these critical minerals between these two nations these two countries india and australia supply chain develop karne ke liye right under this partnership both countries have identified five target projects two for lithium and three for cobalt and the overall objective right agar ek sentence mein pucha jaye that why this partnership has been signed so to develop <coughs> supply chain of the critical minerals between these two nations and what about why only lithium and cobalt because australia is a significant manufacturer significant producer of these two minerals lithium and cobalt and that is why this partnership has been signed for majorly for these two minerals theek okay? hai and therefore the correct answer is what australia option c moving ahead to question number 7 which of the following ministry or ministries recently organized india's biggest youth summit that is national youth conclave in new delhi right and it is not only the ministry of youth affairs and sport but also the ministry of housing and urban affairs through its organizations which have organized this national youth conclave right and where it was organized new delhi कहां पे हुआ था न्यू दिल्ली में एंड रिमेम्बर ऑफकोर्स अब कुछ भी इस साल हो रहा है तो वो अंडर इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंट हो रहा है लाइक लास्ट ईयर कुछ भी हो रहा था तो दैट वॉज अंडर आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव दिस ईयर कुछ भी होगा तो दैट इज अंडर इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंस ठीक है तो कहीं पे भी कोई आंसर लिखोगे तो ये तो लाइन चिपका ही देना इट वॉज हेल्ड अंडर इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी राइट ऑर्गेनाइजर्स एन आई यू ए नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ अर्बन अफेयर जो कि एक इंस्टीट्यूट है अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स इन कोलैबोरेशन विद स्मार्ट सिटीज मिशन अगेन द मिशन ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स विच इज अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स इन स्पोर्ट्स हेडेड बाय अनुराग सिंह ठाकुर ठीक है नाउ यस आई होप यू गाइज रिमेम्बर लास्ट ईयर दे वॉज द प्रोग्राम सार sar program was launched last year by the ministry of housing and urban affairs i think in the month of january 2022 now this sar program why it was launched it was launched to you know make a compendium of 75 successful projects 75 successful projects being implemented in the smart cities jo bhi smart cities hai smart cities mission ke under to make a compendium of 75 successful projects and this was done by 15 premier institutes of the 15 premier institutes of india right this program was launched last year with this objective 
ठीक है एंड नाउ ड्यूरिंग दिस इवेंट ड्यूरिंग दिस नेशनल यूथ कॉन्क्लेव रिलीज द सार कंपेंडियम फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट कंपेंडियम ऑफ सार हैज बीन रिलीज विच कंप्राइज सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस के स्टडीज ऑफ इनोवेटिव अंडर प्रोजेक्ट अंडर सार प्रोग्राम राइट डॉक्यूमेंटेड बाय फिफ्टीन प्रीमियर कॉलेजेस ऑफ द कंट्री एंड नाउ विद दिस द सेकेंड एडिशन ऑफ सार हैज बीन लॉन्च under which every smart city will be encouraged to tie up with at least one academic or research institution to prepare at least three case studies of implemented projects the projects which are already implemented right at least three ka case study wo karenge kaun karenge the smart cities uh, the smart cities under smart cities mission with the help of any academic or research institution all right so i hope this is clear and now let's come back to the question so these are ministry of youth affairs and sport and housing and urban affairs and that's why the correct answer is option d a and b and now guys let's move ahead to the questions which are in short but before that if you want to have the pdf you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description and now let's come to question number 8 which of the following organizations has released a report titled production and promotion of organic and bio fertilizers with special focus on improving economic viability of goshalas so since this is a report on goshalas and i believe that this is not much important report for the examination ab is duniya mein bahut kuch hai puchne ke liye to agar goshalas pe question aata hai is report ki detail mein question aata hai to ye bahut unfortunate hoga but yeah itna to pata hona chahiye that this report has been released by <coughs> niti ayog Question number nine: How much amount has been released by union government as 14th installment of tax devolution to state governments to accelerate their capital and developmental expenditure? Right. So, how much amount is this? That's 14318 crores. Option E is the correct answer. Question number ten: Where has the Ministry of Ayush, along with Murarji Desai, National Institute of Yoga, organized Yoga Mahotsav 2023? to commemorate the 100 days countdown ab 100 din bache hain for the international day of yoga and for that yoga mahotsav 2023 was organized by the ministry of ayush where in new delhi option c is the right answer option c question number 11 where has the ministry of electronics and it headed by ashwini vaishnav organized chintan shiver on the theme digital india decade strategy and implementation so this chintan shivir was again organized in new delhi and once again the correct answer is new delhi question number 12 where is ministry of social justice and empowerment organizing the divya kala mela to show ke the products and craftsmanship of divyang entrepreneurs or artisans from across the country theek hai ministry of social justice and empowerment who is the minister dr v k virendra kumar so this divya kala mela this time it was organized in bhopal madhya pradesh option d is the correct answer and the last question for today but not the least very very important question aim under niti aayog and commonwealth scientific and industrial research organization recently have signed a letter of intent to encourage joint cooperation to drive innovation activities in the area of national challenges and shared priorities the question is csiro is a national science agency of which of the following countries so the country in question is once again australia option b is the correct answer oh yeah one more question question number 14 which country has hosted the 18th meeting of chief justices chairperson of the supreme courts of sco member states with the aim to foster effective judicial cooperation among the member states right so this year SCO presidency is with India, and yes, this 18th edition of meeting was organized by India in New Delhi. So the correct answer is option C, India. All right. <clears throat> so that is all for today. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next session on Friday. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.